guys. I'm here with uh, two members of the Regal Beagle Band. They are uh, here in Moncton for their CD release party, and uh, I'd like to welcome you guys. And uh, how was last night, first of all? Uh, well, thanks for the welcome. Uh, last night was fantastic. It was uh, our first night of the tour. Drove from uh, Halifax yesterday into Moncton and playing with a bunch of awesome bands with the Barrow Downs and Heathcliff and uh, Green and Gold uh, from Newfoundland. Okay. All around fantastic night. Great jams afterwards. Couldn't ask for any better way to start the tour. Good times at Plan B. Always. <laughs> Always. <in the> <laughs> so uh, this new album, it's it's been... Uh, a while in the making, it must be exciting to actually have this thing out and and uh, be able to, to share it with everyone. It is. I still remember the moment when the CDs came to the house and the Pure Later guy dropped them off. <laughs> and we worked on those things for, well, the, that thing, that album for uh, a, a few years uh, of tracking and then uh, a lot of, a long time to mix. And when we finally got it, it was just totally surreal. It was exactly like the moment that you thought it would be, I guess. It's, it's probably something a lot of musicians wish they did, because I know a lot of people, they get really excited and they just want to get it out there, and then once it's out there, like, oh, I should have did this, but do you think by taking so long, it really kind of let you examine this thing under a microscope until you were totally 100% happy with it? Musically, yes. Um, there's always challenges when it comes to, like, whenever you put something out, there's always more you could do. Mm. So in terms of, like, uh, just garnering attention for the record itself. But uh, in, musically, in terms of that, we were all very pleased okay. at the end of uh, the process. That, yeah, we were able to take the time over the years and, and really refine it, make it sound better. We re-recorded a lot of stuff. Like we, did mm -hmm. some stuff and then Callan went in and redid uh, a bunch of his fiddle and Kyle did a bunch of his bass over just with updated parts and new gear yeah so, uh, so yeah we got the what I think is probably uh, the best sound we could at the time so we're looking definitely looking forward to getting into another one yeah <laughs> when and we first started recording we were just a, a new band and so at that time our bass player and our drummer had just started playing the, their instruments and for a lot of us never really been into the recording studio before mm -hmm. so uh, once we started recording and then playing more shows like the songs were developing a little bit more and we matured quite a lot throughout that process and so you can still kind of hear that that uh, vulnerability as a, as a new band in the in the songs but at the same time we did go in and kind of refurbish a lot of it with the with uh, our growth and our and development okay. and, our and uh, I'm sure everyone wants to hear hear some music so uh, you're gonna play one of the one a song off this new album yeah we're gonna play the uh, third track off the album uh, it's called the heroin song all right
That was a. It was kind of weird with all the fire trucks and ambulances going by, oh, but no. we got through <laughs> it. Though. We timed it just perfectly. Yeah, it adds some atmosphere to it. <laughs> so uh, I, I love this version of the song. I heard the album version, and uh, it's quite different. So I encourage people to to go buy the album and hear the uh, the full rock version of this. But uh, it's a lot heavier. Yeah, yeah, it is. But but it's nice to to hear a different uh, style of it for sure. This album started about two years ago. And I'm also, I also started Just Musical Card two years ago, so I was kind of led to believe that possibly this album was made so you could play a song in Just Musical Cars. Well, I mean, that was the original intent, <laughs> yeah. and uh, luckily we're just, uh, you know, meeting all our goals these days. Yeah, here we are two <laughs> years later. I wish you best of luck with your new album. It's uh, good stuff, and everyone go check it out. And uh, that was the Regal Beagle Band, two members of five, and... Uh, that's it for this episode. We'll see you next time.